Hey, what's up guys, Zay here. So today's gonna be a quick little clean and jerk day, so it'll be nice. I'm gonna do no running today because I have a bunch of stuff to do today and I have to get to it quick. So right after I have to go to the doctor's appointment, then right after I gotta go get some grub, and then right after I gotta go cross the border, that way I can go to a rehearsal because we have a gig coming up pretty soon with the jazz band that I play with. So that'll be super cool. I haven't seen the guys in a while. So we're gonna be doing that and I need to get this video to you by end of day. So today we're just gonna be having uh, that workout from Torotti. It's the, it's the fifth one for the week. So this is gonna conclude week one. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Also, wanna let you know the reason why I was a little off yesterday. It looks like I was starting to kind of get sick. However, I ended up taking a bunch of my vitamins that I usually do. I take 50,000 IUs of vitamin D. Yes, 50,000, five zero, 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 zero. <laughs> so hopefully I didn't miss a zero on that. Um, that's the amount of vitamin D3 that I take. Uh, I usually take thyroid medication, not like Synthroid or anything like, like that. It's more of a supplement. It doesn't have to be given to you by a doctor and it seems to be helping out. Basically, it's just to cover all my bases. Along with that, I take the vitamin D3 with K2. I have a supplement from Thorn that I'm gonna leave a link to down below. I teamed up with Thorn not too long ago, so whatever you guys buy from the link down below, you guys get 20% off if you go ahead and sign up for anything. So it's awesome. Uh, it's great supplements, I always recommend them. So I take the K2 and I go ahead and take my Omega-3s. My Omega-3s, I just need them from Nordic, they're awesome. And my wife takes them all the time. Again, great supplements. But let's go hit the gym. So that was a super deceptive workout. It looked like it was gonna be a short workout, but I failed to see, once again, uh, the amount of sets on each one. So I'm very happy that I actually kind of feel like a little bit more on my A game today. I was a lot faster on my cleans. I had power, I had that pop, so it was nice. So we started off with a little bit of a clean complex. I changed, I did some supermans, I did some squats, air squats, I did a little bit of jumping things. I know some of the stuff really works for me. So that's the kind of stuff that I go ahead and change in this program. So that's mainly what I ended up doing. I did a little bit of a warm up and then I did a warm up with the barbell itself. That's always the thing. It's never a negotiable. Then right after we went into the power clean, plus a clean all the way to the ground, but from, from below the knee. So that was, those were good because they really help you focus on your back. 
So whenever you do your power clean, that's one. But then you lower the bar. You don't drop the bar. You lower the bar slowly and then you pull again and your back gets really tight because of that, which is how it's supposed to be. So now all you have to do is just keep that for the second, for the second one below the knee. And it, it's such a better one. Usually your last clean is the best one. So it's very interesting the way it works, but uh, I really like it. And then deficit clean pulls. <laughs> Again, uh, if you haven't, those are really good for your lower back, uh, especially in the later part of the program. If you get these in right now, they will build a more solid back for you <laughs> and you won't have as many issues. So I really like those as well. And then that was it. Uh, I, did, I did skip the last part which was a superset of two exercises I can't remember right now at the top of my head. Um, I'll put the program in, that way you guys can see it. But I ended up doing wrist curls just like yesterday. Um, the reason for it is, uh, I've, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I don't use wrist wraps. The reason why I don't use wrist wraps is I might not know how to fully use them in the best way. So <laughs> I kind of mess up and I, once I almost messed up my wrist because I don't know how to use them with Oli properly. So I might just have to get taught how to use them. And secondly, because of that, I developed stronger wrists because I wasn't relying on the wrist wraps. And sure, my wrist do get a little bit tired, but that's why I put in extra time in my wrists. Um, well, for doing wrist exercises, you know? So it really does help to do those consistently. And wrist, wrist strength is super important and it's something that I overlooked for a very long time and it came back and bit me in the butt. So now I'm doing a lot better with wrist strength and I think adding more of that into this program really helps. And that's why I have the wrist wraps right here, but I just don't use them, you know? Maybe later in the program, I'll use them a little bit more and I'll, uh, I'll experiment a little bit more with them. But right now, this is lighter weight, so I don't feel like I need it, even if these are like complex movements. So yeah, I did three sets, the wrist exercises that I did yesterday. So I'm just gonna repost that one because I had, didn't have time to record it because I gotta bounce right now to my, <laughs> to my doctor's appointment. I'm actually right here in my car. So that'll be the end of it today, guys. We're running, I'll, I'm, I'll maybe post some, a little bit of the music that, I, that we go do over in Mexico. But other than that, we're good to go. Today, out. Peace. So, just wanted to let you know how the visit to the doctor went. <laughs> I got a shot. I'm horrible at it. Um, not a shot. Uh, I got blood drawn. I got four big tubes. So, uh, that, 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 was, that wasn't fun. I hate shots. Uh, sorry. Getting my blood drawn. In any case, I spoke to the doctor about everything that I'm taking. He was appalled apparently so i'm gonna be changing my primary care doctor pretty soon he told me to go vegetarian that it was proven that eating meat would cause me uh cancer and that i was potentially in uh, like th that that's not what i wanted to hear that that was the answer to all my problems and i didn't want to hear it and he told me to get off of weightlifting because it's making my creatinine levels go up and that's about the only bad blood marker he could find everything other than that he wasn't able to find anything from past studies blood draws that he had, that he has had on me and so yeah i think it's time to go ahead and change doctors uh not that i post to try and vegetarian i've tried vegetarian in the past i even tried vegan it took me a week to figure out with veganism that i was getting white i got pale literally pale when my trainer went ahead and she she told me hey maybe you should give this a try a week later i came around and she was like what's going on you look like a ghost i was i'm trying that vegetarian stuff that vegan stuff that you told me she's like get back on me get back and i see her in the week after totally fine vegetarian i tried it for a week and a half uh, almost two that didn't go well either and mind you i was supplementing with other stuff so yeah um and then the uh, carnivore ism i guess you could say um you see you've seen the videos that i have this is how my my channel kind of started um 90 days of like completely strict carnivore then with introducing a couple of other things the second time around and then the second the third time around i introduced way more stuff and now right now i have i believe a really good balance it's most like 90 sorry like 80 percent meat some carbs for the lifting i mean uh, like i said i'm not dogmatic 
about this. I have fruits in there, I have some carbs, and I have a lot of fermented foods. I have, I make my own kefir, I like to buy kimchi, I like to buy sauerkraut. I like to make my own sauerkraut because I like it to taste like dill pickles. So that's really good, especially for the long runs. It's really cool. I like to eat pickles. Those are really good for electrolytes as well. So they, they, there's multiple advantages to the research that I've done over the years. And it's not so much, uh, I've done it both on the textbooks and I've done it on myself because that's the only reason I've been able to get myself from 240 pounds up until what I am right now. And now um, that I get suggested these kinds of diet is like, I might try it somewhere along in the future, but I've tried it before. Maybe I might be in a different spot in my life where it might just make a difference, but right now I don't, I don't see it happening. But yeah, the doctor wanted me to go vegetarian, to get off of weightlifting because I have too much muscle mass and that's gonna fix my fat problem and uh, the running I can keep on doing still. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll leave you guys with that thought again. I'm not refuting anything. This is just his, his professional advice and I'm really thankful that he went ahead and put himself out there because he knew that um, I might be like, I don't think he told me, I don't think you're ready to listen to what I'm telling you. And I said, not that I'm not ready to listen to, but go ahead and explain yourself. And so I really thank him for, for, for doing that. But I don't think his advice in the moment is, I wouldn't even say what I want to hear but I want to hear a couple of other people's thoughts. Maybe there's other paths that, that he, other paths that he has not considered or that he hasn't had time maybe to study or look into. Um, so I will go into those avenues. I will try to find a doctor, maybe that not to tell me what I want to hear, but maybe to tell me um, these are other potential options that this person might not know about. So yeah, I might be getting a new primary care doctor pretty soon. Zay, out. Peace.